In Acts chapter 1, verses 12 to 14, we read these words. Then they, that is the disciples, they returned to Jerusalem from the mount called Olivet, which is near Jerusalem, just a Sabbath day's journey away. When they had entered the city, they went to the room upstairs where they were staying, and Peter and John and James and Andrew, Philip and Thomas, Bartholomew and Matthew, James the son of Alphaeus and Simon the zealot and Judas son of James, all of them were in that upper room constantly devoting themselves to prayer together with certain women, including Mary, the mother of Jesus, as well as Jesus's brother. You know, for Jesus' closest followers, the ascension would mark um, another turning point. After the crucifixion, they held together and retreated back into that upper room. Uh, Their time of grieving was short. One Sabbath and the night that followed, by Sunday morning, grief gave way to shock and then amazement. When Jesus appeared first to the women and then to the disciples that were gathered in the upper room. And for 40 days, they lived in an in-between time, still expecting to see Christ again. But now Jesus was really and truly gone. They had seen him go up into heaven, into the cloud. What would become of those that had given up everything to follow Jesus. What might happen next? Still pondering the last words the risen Lord shared with them, they returned to the upper room where they prayed together. There we find the remaining 11 disciples. Remember, Judas Iscariot has fled and has already died. And they, we find the mother and the brother of Jesus and certain other women who apparently the author prefers to remain anonymous with, but we can imagine who that might be. I mean, Mary Magdalene, perhaps, the sisters from Bethany and other women who went to the cross and to the tomb. This is the crowd that won't go home, the faithful remnant waiting for whatever would come, probably a bit stunned by the supernatural event that they had witnessed. The men and women constantly devoting themselves to prayer could not predict what was coming next or what exactly they would be called to do, only that they would be witnesses to the world on behalf of Christ Jesus. You know, when we experience a major transition in our lives or in the life of our church, we find ourselves in a similar kind of situation. Change can be exciting, can also be very unsettling. It can be welcomed or we can resist it. It can be joyous or it can be very anxiety provoking. Some years ago in a season of discernment about my ministry, I attended a conference in Davidson, North Carolina. One of the leaders asked us to pair off with someone we didn't know and to pray for him or for her. He gave us a list of what he called anointings of the Spirit that we might feel we needed in our lives. The leader said, and he was also a pastor, but he said, you'll know when I describe the one that you need because it will create a burning in your heart. The people that were seated around me, they began to pair off with one another, and I kind of looked across the room and I caught eye with with another man that was uh, on the other side. He asked me, what it is that that I needed. And I told him that I was feeling something in, in needing more knowledge or maybe more experience in doing ministry. My prayer partner, who was also a Presbyterian pastor, he told me a bit about his situation. And he said uh, at the same moment that I was thinking it, that we were much in the same kind of position. And yet, He asked me to pray on his behalf, not for knowledge or experience, but rather 
for obedience. And when he said that, something really did burn within my heart. You see, we were needing different things, we thought, different anointings of the Holy Spirit. But we found out that what we really needed was to pray for one another. And in that moment, we needed each other as well. Seeking guidance together through prayer in God's presence is very vulnerable, and yet it is extremely electrifying. In Christ Jesus, we need one another. And this is good news. Amen.